Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes, I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <gasps> Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> Well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Peppa and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. Whee! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Oh dear, George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. <laughs> it's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Peppa. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> Let's have a race. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Whee! We're going to win the race! Hooray! Peppa and George are the winners. Well done, Peppa! My Daddy makes a very good toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny, Daddy Pig. Hmm. I suppose it is quite funny. <laughs> Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plow. Snow plows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night. But the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're The 
seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. Oh. That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes. Really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high, in a chair, flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis, skis, get your skis here. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Ho oh, oh, ho! Not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Do it again. Whoa. Whoa. Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. La. That was amazing. Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? Yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Peppa and George are making footprints in the snow. <laughs> Peppa and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. Oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. <laughs> Pe 
Pepper and George are going to post their letters to Father Christmas. Yahoo! <laughs> Here are Pepper's friends. They shoot to the post box. Yahoo! <laughs> the children are all posting letters to Father Christmas. What have you all asked Father Christmas for? <laughs> a scooter. A toy spaceship. A little guitar. A toy mouse. A skipping rope. A trumpet. A bat and ball. George has asked for a toy train. <laughs> and I would love a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> it is Mr Zebra the postman. My goodness. A lot of posts today. They're all our letters to Father Christmas. It's very important that Father Christmas gets them. He lives at the North Pole. Yes, I can see that. Well, if I'm off to the North Pole today, I can't stand around chattering. Bye. Bye. Peppa, George, <laughs> we're off to get the Christmas tree. Hooray! Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go! This is Miss Rabbit's tree shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello there. We'd like to buy a tree, please. What sort are you looking for? Please don't say an apple tree or a cherry tree. I don't have them. We want a Christmas tree. Phew! I've got hundreds of them. These are the littlest ones. We were looking for something bigger. This is our mid-range. Still not big enough. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? They look lovely to me. And this is our biggest tree. Perfect. Jolly good. <laughs> All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> It is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race. Ready, steady, go. <sighs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> This is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Pepper and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. Oh, oh, oh. Susie, 
Daddy, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes! Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle? I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro! Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh! Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> 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 Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! My name is Peppa. <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK, a scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Grrr. Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> oh, 
Ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. <sniffs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow, it's Teddy. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra! Blue. No. Abracadabra! Red. Yes! It is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Pepper. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Thank you, everyone. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh. Silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> What do you think it is, Pepper? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Pepper loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> the playground is quite close. <laughs> OK, let's walk. This way, everyone. <laughs> We're going to 
going to the playground. We're going to the playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where has the sky gone? Don't worry, Pepper. It's just fog. What's fog? Fog is a cloud that is on the ground instead of in the sky. Ooh. Hmm. It's very thick fog. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Maybe we should go back home. Yes. We'll go to the playground another day. Oh. It is too foggy to find the playground, so Pepper and George have to go back home. Now, which way is home? Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry. I know exactly where we are. This way. Oof. Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Pepper. We're only in our garden. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Have you lost your pond? <laughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <laughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. <laughs> oh! Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No. The wind has blown George's hat off. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! Look! It's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes. Happy, Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Pig. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> 
What a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. Ha, 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 ha,